Are you ready for this, Courtney? No. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's actual drugs in this one. Riley just disappeared into the woods. We have been keeping a huge secret. There are secret cars. And there are secret buildings. And we've never explored any of it because right after we bought it, winter hit. So let's go check out our new abandoned homestead. <laughs> this thing's awesome. You can tell that motor has a lot of power. It makes pedaling uphill like super easy. One of the most asked questions on this channel is what the deal with this Ford Courier is. We don't know anything about the history of this truck. Why did it end up here abandoned on the side of the road? Why is it pink? What's under the hood? Does it run? I think that's gonna be a future video. The next thing on our abandoned property is this camper shell. And if the size is a little confusing to you, it was confusing to us at first too, because it doesn't fit on our pink truck, it fits on something else. Here we go, Courtney. Time to test this thing's off-road suspension. Oh yeah. Oh, this is nice. Some of you may recognize this spot if you watched our winter videos this year. This is where Riley found that fresh deer kill and the consensus from you guys is that it was probably a kitty, a really big kitty. As always, the cameras don't do it justice, but this property is steep, but these bikes are making quick work of it and we're almost to the top. I need to take a break for a second. I was actually a little scared to sit in this chair. I thought it was <laughs> gonna was fall apart. Pretty brave of you. And that brings us to the next abandoned thing on our abandoned property, which is this truck. 1983 Chevy K10 Scottsdale edition, whatever that means. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty sure that this truck is 90% of why I wanted to buy this property. and I've never even tried to pop the hood. Does it have an engine? I think it's been a while since anybody's been over here. You cannot make this stuff up. Did you see what this tape is of? No. Oh, Willie Nelson, Waylon Jennings, greatest hits. Unfortunately, I think the hood pop cable is broken, so we're not going to be able to get into this without bringing some more tools over. But someday soon, we're going to see if this truck will run. I think I'm more optimistic about this one than the Courier. Okay, while Riley plays with this truck, I'm going to show you guys one of the reasons that we fell in love with this property. Oh man, I think this property has one of the best views around. This is incredible. Yeah, but we're supposed to save that for another video. They don't get to see it yet. There is also these barrels that we don't know what's in them, but they sound full. Should we show them the first cabin? Not a lot to show. Before we get any further, we'd like to thank Angue for sponsoring today's video. With no engine to start, no gas to deal with, and best of all, no noise, it's become our go-to for quick trips around the property. And Angue has raised the bar with the all new X-Series folding e-bike. The X-Series is available in three sizes, ranging from 20 inch tires up to 26 inch tires. This bike is packed full of premium features, including huge 26 inch fat tire, a multi-shock suspension design, hydraulic disc brakes, dual lithium batteries, and a whopping 1200 watt motor that quickly 
accelerates this bike all the way up to an impressive top speed of 31 miles an hour. And right now, Angway is offering $100 off with special early bird pricing. And you can also sign up for your chance to win a free bike, gift box, or waterproof cargo bag. To learn more, head over to angway.com or click on the link in the description below. But that's enough talking for now. Let's keep exploring. Welcome to the burned down cabin. Oh my gosh, every time we come here, it's crazier. I feel like each one of these things needs to be its own episode because there's like so much here to unpack. You could also slide down the hill in it. How did they get this up here? This thing must weigh, what, 500 pounds? Yeah. What is this? So this is like an original off-grid cabin with old lead acid style batteries. I actually don't know what these batteries are. If any of you have any idea what these batteries are, let me know, but I've never seen anything like this. Giant round cylinders. I think maybe they're from like a, like a retired power utility or I don't know. Wood stove. Go with the oven. Another two bathtubs? This cabin was quite literally a two bath. They were living in luxury up here with a microwave. I think this is my favorite piece here and it's gonna need a place on the wall in the shop someday. I wanted to spare you this, but Courtney insisted. What is it? Botulism. Do you think they were pickles? They kind of look like pickles. I think they actually were pickles. What is that? What That's is fiberglass. That? Oh, okay. Yeah. We have two theories about why this house may have burned down. The first is that that off-grid power system lit on fire and burned the cabin down. The second theory is that this old propane fridge caught the house on fire. Apparently they're notorious for doing that. Oh, that is some sour milk. And when it's time to use the restroom in the middle of the night, it's just a quick, I understand not wanting to put the outhouse close to the house, but it's a trek to get up here. But this outhouse just might win the award for best view in the county. One, two, three, four, five. Level five sounds scary. Level two. Welcome to our second cabin. I have a confession to make. I've never been in this one because I've been too scared. This makes me a little bit uncomfortable. We've poked our heads in the windows of this cabin before, but we've never been inside, and so we don't really know what to expect. And we're gonna go in there. Are you ready for this, Courtney? No. All right, well, for starters, the foundation of this cabin is literally just concrete blocks setting on the ground. Oh, this is held up with a stump. Oh gosh. A barbecue, a stove, a fridge, washer and dryer, all normal things for the porch. But what? Chewbacca? 
Like a Star Wars book? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We do not know much about this cabin. All we do know is that at some point there was a family that lived in this cabin off grid up here, I think year round, but that's not who we bought the property from. So there's not really a lot of information. Oh my gosh. That is so much stuff. Is it bad? Courtney, there is so much stuff in here. What is this? An old triangle bottle. Frederick Stearns and Co. Detroit, Michigan. What if there's like gold in here? Shh, don't tell you to. Oh boy, the ceiling is bad. Lots of mold. <laughs> Tag on this box right here says 1999. But yeah, like why is the couch flipped over? Can you hear me? I don't think the phone works. Doesn't it look like the door's been kicked in? Isn't that why yeah. it's... I think so. I found a gun. It's a space beamer. It'll beam you into space. <laughs> a timing light. <laughs> Tons of baseball cards. A mouse. I found a mouse. Nuh-uh. This is, this is photos of someone's teeth. I'm kind of impressed by those before and afters. I want to find something good, but I don't think there's anything good. <laughs> How do you know if you're going to fall through the floor? I don't. I think there's a sewing machine back here. No, it's a bread maker. Of mail. Floppy disk. A jewelry box full of fine treasures. Lots of books. Harry Potter. Maybe Oliver needs that. Coffee mug, a pencil sharpener. I'm confused by all of the electronics in an off-grid cabin. Oh, it smells disgusting back here. Why did somebody save all this stuff? And then, why is it, why is it so ransacked? Why is it so ransacked and why is it still here? Oh, here's something good. Mouth Billy Bones. That might have to go in the shop. The only thing we're saving. What's this other room? Can this table support my weight? I think it's the bathroom. There's a little sink and a there's a toilet back there. Oh gosh. Wonder where that ran to. Oh, I found treasure. This is a spawn car that even has tire chains. It's a snow spawn. More treasure. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Here, ducky, ducky. Fish food. Oh, drugs. Why did you sound so good? What is Emma Primine HCL? Oh, money. Money, money, money. Oh, money, money, money. Oh, quarters. Nope. Ugh. This black box? This? That thing? Yeah. Courtney, that is a television from before your time. You've probably never seen a TV that was that shape. We had one of those. More drugs. Oh, there's actual drugs in this one. Celebrex. Okay, I'm literally in the bathroom now. More drugs. Hydrocodone. From 1999. 
But, but I did find this really funny Santa cat. This little spot where this cabin sits is an awesome spot. Like it's got great views, it's southern facing, it's this nice, beautiful, natural sort of flat spot on the side of this hill. And I always had it in the back of my mind, like maybe we'll fix that little cabin up and it'll make a really cool guest house. But I hadn't ever looked at it this closely. It is an absolute wreck. There's no real foundation. So first we'd have to jack the whole thing up and fix the foundation. The roof has been leaking for a long, long time. So all of the drywall and insulation now is moldy. The exterior walls turns out is just painted OSB. Oh, and then all the windows are broken and the door's broken. So basically remodeling this cabin would mean piece by piece tearing the entire thing apart and redoing the entire thing. I don't think we're redoing this cabin. Riley just disappeared into the woods. This is weird. There's like a, a hole back here. There's a big pit dug back here. Who do you think lives in this hole? I don't know. Based on the toilet that I saw inside the bathroom, I'm guessing there's some kind of makeshift septic pit somewhere and maybe maybe that's what I'm standing on. Exploring old buildings like this really gets me wondering who lived here, what was their story, how did it end up like this, and I don't think we'll ever have those answers, but it is fun to look around and kind of try to put a story together. I don't think this was quite the fixer-upper you were hoping for. No, I hate to break it too, Courtney, but <laughs> I think the only the only solution to this thing is a big dozer. Why is it all here? Why did it just get abandoned? I have no idea and I don't think we'll ever know. We'd like to thank Angway so much for sponsoring this video. This property is a can of worms and I don't even know where to get started. And honestly, I just can't wait to keep exploring it and finding more treasure. Is it treasure? Thanks for watching guys. If you'd like to learn more about Angway's bikes, including their new X26, you can head to the link in the description below. Right now, Angway is offering $100 off with special early bird pricing. You can also sign up for your chance to win a free bike, gift box, or waterproof cargo bag. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next time.